we're talking about affirmative and negative words in Spanish. And um, we're not talking about affirmative and negative words in the entirety of Spanish. We're talking about a couple of sets of words that either affirm something is so, or they negate saying something that's not. To negate is a fancy term which means to say no, basically. So try that. Instead of saying no next time for anything, tell your friends, I negate. <laughs> Which means you say no. In very basic terms, affirmative means yes, and negative means no. But it does get a little more detailed than that. So let's look at some examples here. These are the affirmative words, and most of them start with the letter A, like affirmativo or affirmative. Repitan algo, algo. alguno, alguno. Alguien. alguien, también, alguien. Siempre. siempre. These are the translations. Algo means something, alguno means some, or a. <coughs> alguien means someone, también means also, and siempre means always. These are words that were in your vocab for chapter 1A. Do you guys remember these from, from the vocab chapter 1A? Alright, if not, go ahead and jot those down. I'll have a copy of this video available on Canvas either today or tomorrow, so if you aren't able to copy down all of these words, you can copy them down at another time. All right. <clears throat> Here are the negative words. Repitan. Nada. Nada. Ninguno. Ninguno. Nadie. Nadie. Tampoco. Tampoco. Nunca. Nunca. And these are the translations. Nothing, none, no one, neither, never. Most of those words start with the letter N, just like the word negativo. Negativo. Salem. That is an awesome shirt. That rocks. I love that. Yes, that's good. Good message. Okay, so let's put it into practice. Um, you got to remember, before we move on, in Spanish, you do use the double negative. You do use the double negative. So, in English, we wouldn't say like, I don't got none. Grammatically, the, the grammatically correct way to say that would be I don't have any, right? Not I don't got none. But or or I don't have none. Say that like sometimes we we may say I don't have none, but the grammatically correct way to say that is I don't have any. See what I mean? In Spanish, you are supposed to say I don't have none. No tengo ninguno. No tengo nada. I don't have nothing. If you don't have nothing, then in English that means you have something. See what I mean? But in Spanish, you are supposed to use an old negative. So, keep that in mind. And here are some examples. No tengo nada. No hay nadie en la, en la casa. Oh, wait, I skipped. Did I skip one? Huh. Okay, yeah. Here's examples. Sorry. I got ahead of myself. Um, here are examples of the double negative. So it would, it would be good to write these sentences down. All right? Yo no tengo nada. That means I don't, literally, I don't have nothing. But when you translate it into Spanish, it means I don't have anything. Even though you're literally saying I don't have nothing. No hay nadie en la casa. 
there's not nobody in the house, which means there isn't anybody in the house. If there's not nobody, then that means there is somebody. But in Spanish, you are supposed to say, there's not nobody in the house. Another way to say, there's nobody in the house. Gracias. You just put it. <laughs> you just put it right there. So yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Thanks. Ustedes no quieren nada. So picture yourself in a situation in which you ask a group of people if they would like something, and they all say no, they don't want anything. Ustedes no quieren nada. You guys don't want nothing. Or in English, you guys don't want anything. Yo no quiero nada tampoco. I don't want nothing neither. That's what that literally means. I don't want nothing neither. But in Spanish, or sorry, but in English, that would be, I don't want anything either. I don't want anything either. All right, so it can be a little confusing since you are supposed to use a double negative in Spanish. So here's some additional practice. Okay, I want you guys to try this on your own in your notebooks. You don't necessarily have to write down the sentences word for word unless you just want to, but try to figure out the which ones of these words, see these words, and those words go in these blanks. Oh, I just gave you the first answer by mistake. Okay, numero uno. Alicia quiere blank para comer. Alicia wants blank to eat. Algo, muy bien. Alicia quiere algo para comer. Noé, which is the Spanish uh, name Noah, no come blank que tiene carne. He doesn't eat blank that has meat. Él es vegetariano. He is vegetarian. That, that would read, you're on the right track, but that would read, Noah doesn't eat, never, that has meat. Nada. Yeah. Nada, yes. Is that what you were going to say? Yeah. Nada. Noé no come nada que tiene carne. Yeah. Noah doesn't eat anything that has meat. He's vegetarian. If I told you guys that I used to be vegetarian, would you believe me? You probably wouldn't believe me, would you? Would you? I was vegetarian for 10 years and vegan for two. Two of those years. Yeah. Go meat. Not meat. <laughs> that was me laughing. Numero tres. <clears throat> A mí no me gusta correr. And then the second person responds, A mí. Nunca. Not nunca. Say it again. También. The opposite of también. Tampoco. Perfecto. Muy bien. Good. A mí tampoco. <clears throat> so if someone said, me gusta correr, y a ti, I like to run. And you? And if someone else liked to run, they would say, a mí también. Which is, which is what you were saying, Jacob. And that would be correct. A mí también. But since the person says no, then you need to answer with a mí tampoco. A mí me gusta, a mí también. A mí no me gusta, a mí tampoco. Cuatro. Oh wait, I should give you, I should put the answers on the board. There we go, okay. Cuatro. Yo no conozco a en la escuela. Nadie, muy bien. <coughs> Yo no conozco a nadie en la escuela. 
I don't know nobody in the school. Too bad. In English, we would say, I don't know anybody or anyone in the school. <coughs> Numero cinco. Blank. Conoce al profesor Rios. Give you a hint. It's the opposite of the answer for number four. Good. Say it again. Alguien. Alguien. Muy bien. Alguien. And the trend, the sentence would read: Does anyone or does anybody know Professor Rios? Excelente. Good job, guys. Okay. That's it for this video. We're going to do some other practice activities together.